Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, I'll be telling you why Flak is the best Vault Hunter in Borderlands 3 as we shine a light on the Beastmaster and everything that makes them great. We've already covered Zane and Moe's with Amara to follow, but today it's robot time. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one, and do let me know in the comments what you enjoy the most about playing as Flak. And let's crack into it. From the day Flak was announced, it was immediately apparent that they were the cool Vault Hunter, a robot that can command creatures to do their bidding. What's not to like about that? As we learn more about their abilities, they just got even better, but for something made out of metal, it doesn't take much to put you on the deck. Flak is, by definition, a glass cannon, especially at launch, having no built-in way to comfortably regenerate health, putting the ball completely in your court when it comes to staying on your feet. They operate in the purest of Borderlands mindsets, where the best way to stay alive is by killing all the enemies around you before they kill you. None of this lifesteal, no massive shields, just shoot things in the face. Face McShooty would be proud. They have potential to be the most active in combat, putting your weapons first. None of this fancy smancy stuff, instead proving that plain Jane can ride the pain train, and they do it in style. If you're someone who likes to let your weapons do the talking, then Flak is the one for you, enhancing each gun's damage while maintaining their true form. The ability to do that comes through a focus on critical hits, which can be applied to any weapon you're wielding. Skills like Megavore enable you to shoot your enemy's pinky toes, but have it feel like a bullet entered their brain, and that happens a flat 20% of the time. Essentially, one-fifth of your shots is guaranteed to deal considerably more damage when perhaps it wouldn't have, and that then feeds into other skills like Leave No Trace and Headcount, which extend the life of each of your magazines and reduces your action skill cooldown, respectively. With the focus of landing shots in those harder to hit places, it's natural for Flak to be friends with Jack, or should I say Jacobs. The synergy is there for everyone to see, with the critical damage bonus granted by all things Jacobs, and the ricocheting bullets on critical hits, it's easy to see their home lies with the Beastmaster. Shotguns in particular have an affinity with Flak as the critical chance is calculated per pallet, and there's a number of Jacobs shotguns with high pallet counts. Each and every one of them feels truly devastating to use as you watch crowds of enemies get ripped apart with a couple of well-placed shots. That critical damage can be boosted further with skills such as Hunter's Eye and Galactic Shadow, but nothing does it better than the all-time power-packed critical hit barrage of Fade Away. Activating Fade Away is pretty much you putting your hand up saying, yes please, give me more damage, as the next three shots deal 200% more of it. Couple that with the unblinking eye augment, and each shot during Fade Away gets 75% more crit damage, but that does reset every three hits. Three shot Fade Away is great for dropping bosses with high damage weapons, and often one shot is all you'll need. However, if you want to summon the full fury of Fade Away, then equip the monkeys in the Fog Augment, which reduces Fade Away's critical damage bonus down to 25%, but lets you fire all the bullets you want for as long as it's active. That lets you apply the bonuses of Fade Away across a wider range of weapons and a wider time span, while still benefiting from the damage boost. Fade Away crits are different to normal crits, so you'll still want to land shots on those weak points, but Fade Away or even just Megavore gives you much more room for mistakes, allowing you to use cold weapons and have bullets return to your magazine regardless of where you hit your target. Those extra crits extend to weapon effects that you have no control over, like the Redistributor's Chain Rounds or the Plague Bearer's Branching Orbs. The Plague Bearer is incredibly deadly to begin with, but on Flak you can give its secondary assault extra levels of damage. Two Fang will even help you fire two for one 25% of the time, makes one of the best mobbing launches that much better. Speaking of mobbing, the reflux grows into its own in the hands of the Beastmaster, transforming into its final and most formidable form. 
with Leave No Trace and Head Count triggered countless times with each shot. You'll be fading away for days on end, while majorly extending the life of each magazine. You'll thin the pack effortlessly, it's almost too easy. Speaking of too easy, the Monarch is Flax Shining Light. All those bullets at that breakneck speed landing with critical force is too much to handle for just about everything in the game. You'll be on the absolute annihilation station while Fadeaway is active, and when it's not you'll still tear through your targets and have it ready to go again in no time. It is the perfect weapon of choice for reaching the phenomenal damage cap of the Stackbot class mod, which sits at just shy of 500%, and when working in tandem, you will be able to blitz health bars like very few things in the game can. Flak is also home to the unconventional, take my spellcaster Flak build for instance, where you can roam the borderlands with just 1 HP to your name, and no need for bullets. You can cosplay as a wizard, Flacky, but please, please don't give your name to the goblins for hire. You can set up your own damage delivery service, all you need is a grenade and a couple tame rack. Where Fadeaway puts the spotlight on your weapons, rack attack in combination with the peregrine class mod can yield some crazy results. The rack you summon and the grenades they drop deal some hefty damage, especially when boosted by the Guardian Angel, and that's something you can rinse and repeat until the end of time. Mobs, bosses, whatever you come across, you can literally do it all with the Rack Pack. It's quite unbelievable. Outside of the Peregrine class mod, Rack Attack is great for proccing anointments, just like Zane's cannon, but they can set things on fire too. As if that wasn't enough, Flak is also home to an assortment of wildlife, which you can bring into battle. Aside from the rack shot seemingly out of their armpit, you also have access to a spider and jabber and skag which come in various forms, or if you want something more in Flak's likeness, why not bring a loader bot along for the ride. It's up to you what companion you want by your side, but nothing beats the pure power of the war loader bot. With the flaming shotgun, the ability to throw grenades, and a shoulder-fired missile barrage, this sidekick might just be the Batman to your Robin. You can use the Gamma Burst action skill to teleport them straight into the action at twice the size, with radiation swirling through their oil, I guess. They can pop mobs like bubbles and even do the same thing to bosses. For Flak, a companion is also a window to their survivability, and can be enhanced through the use of the Red Fang class mod, which will put the focus on your pet, and give you time to align any shots you plan to take. When you throw this all together, you get a Vault Hunter that is designed to make every shot count. The focus on critical hits through fadeaway and countless skills make well placed shots mean more, but the onus is still on you to hit them. When you do, you'll be greatly rewarded, but if you don't, there's not much in that health bar to keep you going. What can though is your pets, who can even revive you thanks to Lick the Wounds, and proves you don't need friends to survive in the Borderlands, something that grunts will do just fine. Rack Attack can be enhanced to become a weapon of its own, and your companions can be placed at the forefront of the fight, while you deal damage from a distance. So that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned why Flak is the best Vault Hunter in Borderlands 3. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.